Hello, I'm Chris Chisholm, Executive Director of the Car Care Program, located proudly here in Alexandria, Minnesota, serving Douglas and Pope County. Our tagline is promoting independence, restoring hope one car at a time, and we truly believe we're doing that. Basically, we fix people's cars and we give cars away. Um, the reality is, is we take every kind of car. And the reason we do that is we don't take state or federal dollars. We talk about Jesus and we firmly believe that Jesus is part of our mission. And so when we do that and we take those dollars, it might determine on how we can serve. And so what's so exciting about having Jesus at the forefront of our mission is that um, when we take every single car, we can then sell a junked car to the junkyard and push our mission forward with that. We can take um, individuals' donations and know that it's staying local and, and staying in Douglas and Pope counties. The Car Care Program is passionate about serving individuals and families and, and where that came out of was in social services and churches and businesses all came together and said what are the root issues in our county that we're facing is in the one area that was just just going in circles around everything else was transportation. People needed to be able to get to their medical appointment, needed to be able to get to their job to provide for their family and so the social services at that time had, had some, some monies they could allocate towards repairing vehicles for people. And so what was cool about that is our founder was kind of tasked with how do we then use and be good stewards of those dollars. And so he ran that program from 1999 until 2012. And during that span, they gave, they gave away over 800 vehicles and fixed over 3,000. And, and wow, what an impact, right? My name is Suzette Sutton, and I'm a resident here in Alexandria. I uh, was trying to figure out how I was supposed to do everything that I was supposed to be doing and, without a vehicle. I have a homeless ministry that I operate and having the van now I can easy, it's easier to do what I need to do and that just means more deliveries and having a van is going to make that possible. So we fixed over 650 cars, just like the two behind me, uh, and we do that through volunteers. And that's why we're so passionate about this shop, is we bring in uh, retired volunteers or retired individuals, and we've got everybody from a re uh, retired realtor to a CPA to a financial professional to a guy who's been in the industry for 40 years, and we just have a great time fixing cars. And the reason it's so awesome here is that we can do it labor-free. And so it allows us to push our cars even further. Hello, I'm Lawrence Keenan. I'm one of the volunteers here at the Douglas County Car Care Center. Well, I knew how to put gas in a car. I knew how to put gas in the lawnmower. I didn't know anything. I didn't know a piston from a carburetor. But I thought, well, these guys, they like to drink coffee. They like to have a cookie. And when you tell a joke, they're of the same era. They understand the jokes that are told, and so we all laugh around a lot. And now I can happily say I know how to change out uh, rotor drums, I know how to do uh, brake pads, tie rods, sway bars, but I enjoy it and I have lots of fun. We've given over 400 vehicles away since 2013. Um, when we give them that car, we want them to know how to maintain that car. We have a community room on site, so every one of our clients that go through our program uh, goes through, we call it the car care clinic. So financial literacy skills, insurance literacy, so we bring in an insurance professional, we talk about why do you pay what you pay for car insurance? Why do you gotta have renter's insurance? Why is that a good idea? We wanna talk about goals. Um, we then go hands-on with the vehicle. So we literally have clients check tire pressure, check oil, learn how to do those things because so many of our clients um, just don't uh, know how to do that. We're never taught, to the, no fault of their own, never taught how to do that. We, uh, we serve about 60% of working uh, single moms. And so when you think about putting some tools in their tool belt to understand how to maintain their car. I had an idea of let's throw a community room right smack dab in the middle of that thing so we can bring in high school youth, bring in community ed classes, teach a car care course, but then literally walk them out the back door uh, and work alongside our volunteers or, or this themselves to be able to learn how to check oil, check your tire pressure, check the, the general maintenance things on a car that so many kids and so many youth are not learning right now. They don't teach that in our high schools uh, currently. And so we're excited to be a part of that on our mission going forward, bringing in high school youth. People should donate their cars because it, it gives people back the freedoms that they don't realize that they have lost um, in not having a vehicle. So excited about what this facility offers to us in the future, uh, the ability to serve a bigger, broader, multi-county level and bring in more groups of, of volunteers and, uh, and fix more cars and, and, and restore that hope one car at a time.